earlier, and she she always calls, and she's always you know very emotional. Yeah, she, he's psionic. She's she's every single day. Oh, that's all she does all day long is call people and and uh, you know and have artificial crisis. She lives in a big house. She has all the food she needs. She has all the every the and that's how she's been all our life. It's not an old age thing. Our entire life. She's always, uh, even though we've had everything we've needed, she's always been yelling about some uh, some crisis that's not there. She's creating it. She's yelling about something going on always mm -hmm. because that's what she has a compulsion to 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 behave like there's some horrible crisis going on when there's nothing actually going yeah. on. You know? Does she have like a counselor or a therapist? Yeah, counselor? we have been going to, which she has, she's been going. The, the thing with her is she just, there's no accountability. There has to be, a, I, I've worked with cases like this with my, my clients. There's somebody who has no accountability. They just say horrible accusations about everyone. Mm -hmm. So, and then, so we have to like write down what she says and then fact check it when there's a third person and then show her that she's obviously lying about or thing have to to and then it's all to cover up that she's the one who's always been the perpetrator it's not the people she's projecting on other people her own you know self-loathing she's always like the victim yeah when yeah. in actuality she's always been the perpetrator it's always been her voice yelling that she's the victim, but it's always been her voice that's been like practically torturing us our whole yeah. lives. That's what it is. I know. She calls us like three times a day, and some t nor like ninety percent of the time I could calm her down and have her go eat something, but she lately, doesn't want. She has the psychiatrist prescribes a medication that would calm her down. She does intentionally refuses the treatment she wants to be like this she has this so many easy solutions to all her problems but she intentionally wants to create artificial crisis because this is the all she's known all her life how to do that's all she know she is and so she doesn't want to change when changing is just very, very, just taking uh, the medication would help and she doesn't want to. She chooses intentionally to have, create, have, you know, problems that cause crisis so she can yell all day, yeah. saying how horrible well, it she, is. She says that she doesn't take the medication because she needs to be all there to make you know decisions for no she, she that's a lie she says she she intentionally makes the wrong decisions in, in order to make life miserable for her neighbors for the car calling the cops every day calling you know telling her neighbors like i that she lost the key i have to go over there you know always and then people want to help because they see a like 84 year old 85 year old lady in this dress she feeds on that because people see her yelling that they they're going uh tend to her and then that's she gets off on that and so she wakes up the next morning the same routine every single day day after day that's all that's what it yeah. is so, she was telling me the other day that she has a big window that's broken in her house yeah it's dangerous that's like five by seven window and yeah. She mentioned like a lamp that's broken and she like, those okay. Are simple, those are simple things that I tell her, okay, it's fine. Eventually you'll get it fixed. But when she calls and she says, you know, I'm gonna kill myself. Damn, it's well, no, no. If she her. says that, look, we've had what what we've done is they told us. So, if we get medical power of attorney, we can make her force her and she can't refuse the treatment they said the way to do that is 5150 if she says she's gonna kill herself then we have to do that would qualify for 5150 mm -hmm. so and then i have video of her hitting me and getting violent but they say it has to happen within the when we call it has to have happened within the last 24 hours that the psych uh, evaluation team said it didn't go through in the last few attempts, but it will. But we have to do it. So we, I, I tell everyone, if she's saying she has to kill herself right then, you have to call or let me know, call me so that I can call them, have them, the psych evaluation team. If she's saying she has to kill herself and the psych evaluation shows up 
within 24 hours, then they will take her, then we can start the, the um, procedure to claim medical power of attorney so she can't refuse help because they always come when 911 we call paramedics come she's yelling in the front yard she refuses she says can we take you she says no and they say if she can she's understanding us and she's saying no we can't take her so okay. she has to have her her medical power of attorney taken away so she can't refuse medication she can't refuse uh treatment and then to do that, then please, if she calls you, I tell everyone, if she calls you and says she's committing suicide or she's doing something that's a danger to herself or others or shows that she's, she's uh, you know, gravely disabled, then please call me uh, this number you just called so I can call the psych evaluation team and have them go over there and, t you know, and then yeah. that qualifier for the 5150. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do because... Um, she has my staff here worried that she's going to do something to herself. And um, I feel like that's the next step for us to do. Yes, 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 please, please, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, take care. Okay, bye-bye.